Hey guys, welcome back. So yeah, we reviewed quite a few TVs on this channel, but this is only the second projector that we've reviewed. Uh, this is the Lumo, specifically their smart projector. So Lumo sent this out quite a few weeks ago, so I really took my time to test it out. Uh, but a very big shout out and a thank you to Lumos for sending this over for review. All right, so the Lumos projector uh, projects at 1080p, which is great because there are some other projectors that support 1080p but projected at a lower resolution, this natively projects at 1080p. Now the Lumos projector projects at 6,000 lumens, which is pretty bright, I have to say. Uh, and also, like I said, this is the smart variant. So this has inbuilt Android, which you know, your usual apps like YouTube, Netflix, and because it's Android, you could probably install some others as well. Now the Lumos projector has a short throw lens, meaning that you don't have to put it too far away from your screen or your wall to get a good size. So this has an effective range in terms of size between 50 inch all the way up to 300 inches. Now this also has built-in speakers, but you have your audio out, you've got Bluetooth, if you want to use something else. Now in terms of unboxing, it's pretty straightforward. You obviously get a projector, you get a lens, cap you get a power cable now they also give you a hdmi cable as well as an adapter to convert the av out to rca now of course you also get a remote control but i have to say one thing i was really impressed about was the quality of the packaging now first of all the box felt really solid and i know i don't really talk about this but i was particularly impressed because not only is the box really solid but the foam that it came in had extra plastic reinforcements at the corner. I've actually never seen that, not just on projectors, I've never seen that on any product. So yeah, I was really impressed. Now, in terms of IO, at the side first, you get two HDMI inputs as well as an SD card input. And at the back, you also get a VGA connection for some of your legacy devices, which is great. You've also got two USB ports. One of them also supplies five volts of power, which is great. So like, for example, if you plugged in your Chromecast to either one of the HDMI ports, you can power it with uh, the five volt USB uh, port at the back which is great now it has that av out like i mentioned earlier but you also get a headphone jack which is cool although i mean if you're not sitting close to it you're gonna need a really long cable now one of the standout features of the lumos projector is actually the connectivity now there are some projectors out there that might have sort of similar features but they don't have a LAN port and the Wi-Fi only supports like 2.4 gigas. Even some TVs only support 2.4 gigas connections. Now the Wi-Fi on the Lumos projector actually also supports 5 gigas connection, which is great, but also has an additional LAN port, which is always my recommendation if you're streaming movies. Now in terms of control, you get buttons here at the back to turn it on and full control over the entire projector is great. But of course, you also get a remote. So, but if you don't have the remote or if you lose it or something, you can still control the projector uh, fully with the buttons at the back. Now on top of the lens, you have two features as well. One is is for focusing obviously the other one is for vertical keystone uh, which is really good and really easy to use now this only works really well if your projector is directly straight at the wall if it's being projected at an angle this is not going to be enough but the great thing is you can use the remote uh, you can go into the settings and you get full keystone control now in terms of design, I have to say I'm quite impressed. Now first of all, it's a lot narrower than I expected. Uh, some of the other projectors that you buy on the market usually tend to have a bit of a bulge in the center. This one is almost flat throughout, which is really impressive. It also has sort of like a cloth finish in front uh, and at the back, you know, kind of reminds you of like your Google Home Mini and all that, but it feels pretty nice. Now I do have one issue with the design though. Now obviously you have your air intake and exhaust here to cool down the projector. But the thing is, you can't actually take out a filter uh, to clean it some other projectors you are able to you know remove a filter to clean it so that you know dust doesn't clog up but this is sealed so i honestly don't know in terms of long term whether you can clean it or not but right now i just don't see an option so whether there's an issue or not i'm not really sure but if you're in an area where it's not really dusty i really don't foresee an issue now like i mentioned there are two variants of the lumos projector one that is just a projector and this one that has Android built in. Now specifically, this uses Android 6, but this is not Android TV. This is your regular Android uh, operating system, which like I said, if, if you've seen my reviews, you know that Android TV is still my favorite. I love the interface. However, having said that, uh, the skin that they use for Android 6 on here is actually pretty good. It's really smooth. Uh, I didn't have any stuttering issues. Uh, once you boot up, it's actually quite smooth from the start. And yeah, I mean, if you use YouTube and Netflix most of the time, it's right there. You don't have to fiddle around to look for it. Uh, but not just that. So this supports AirPlay and Miracast as well. So you can mirror your phone uh, to show pictures or videos, even though like video maybe it starts every now and then, but it's perfect for showing photos. But of course, one of the most important things is the picture quality. Now I have to say, I was pleasantly surprised. Now, like I mentioned, this 
uh, projector has a short throw lens. Now, it's really good in the sense that you don't need a long distance between your screen or your wall and the projector. However, the flip side of it is that you get two issues usually. Um, one is that it tends to be brighter in the center and then a bit dimmer at the edges. And the other one is that it will be sharp in the center, but a bit blur at the edges. So those two issues that I mentioned are actually caused by the concave nature of short throw lenses. But I have to say, in this particular case, I did not notice those issues or like they weren't very obvious. Now in terms of the image at the corners being uh, blur and the center being sharp, I did not notice that when you're watching movies at all. Now if I plugged in my laptop and I had small text at the edge of the screen, yeah you would notice that maybe it's a little bit blur, but if you're watching shows, it's perfectly fine. And same with the brightness issue as well, I did not notice uh, it being like brighter in the center and dimmer at the edges, I'm actually very surprised and I don't know how Lumos did it. But yeah, overall picture quality, I thought it was really good. Now, of course with projectors, because it's projecting an image and it doesn't have a backlight at the screen, uh, you're not gonna get as good contrast ratios compared to TVs, whether it's an LED uh, or an OLED TV. But considering that it's a projector, it's really good. Uh, images are really sharp because of the native uh, 1080p resolution. Now, of course with using a projector, you have your usual caveats. Now, it would be good to make sure that the room is dark to get a really good image. And of course, don't have a light shining on the wall where you're projecting. All right, so let's talk about the price. So like I mentioned, there are two variants. This one with Android built-in is 398 Singapore dollars. The Lumos projector that doesn't have Android features is 299 Singapore dollars. Now Lumos also sells projector stands, which is a really great feature, especially if you don't have a place to put a projector on. Now, if you buy that alone, I think that's 89 Singapore dollars, but you can bundle it together with the projector that you buy for just an additional $55. However, I will say that that stand, I think is a little too small or a little too short, even at its highest, uh, if you were to sit down on the chair in front of it, like someone who, like me who's pretty tall, uh, I'm still going to block it. So I don't know, maybe they might want to have a taller one in the future. Uh, but I mean, if you have somewhere to put a projector on, you don't need the stand. So would I recommend this? I mean, like I said before, projectors are a really good alternative. And in this case, a much cheaper alternative to having a large format display compared to buying a TV. Now, granted, there are some limitations or caveats, you know, like making sure that the place is dark, making sure that you have a nice flat wall or buying a screen, making sure that there's no light coming in. But that's not a restriction or limitation specifically for Lumos. It's just projectors in general. So. What I would say is if you know the limitations of projectors and you know how to use them properly, this is a fantastic option. All right, so that about wraps up my review of the Lumos projector. Now, if you like this video, you know what to do and I would love it if you would subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications on our next video. I'm JP and I'll see you real soon.